All right, so I decided to take this Huffy uh, Prospect for a little ride around this parking lot. I put the pedal back on, and it's one of those pedals where the wrench like doesn't really fit in, so I'm just gonna leave the wrench there. So that way the pedal's tight. The main reason I wanna do that is, do this ride is because there's like a little, kinda like a little gully thing. I wanna see if I can make it through. Uh-oh. Okay, here's a hint. Don't leave your wrench on the pedal. Won't work. See, now I've tightened it, I can't get the wrench off the thing. So I can either leave the pedal loose, which is bad. All right, I'll just leave the pedal like a little loose. Hopefully it won't come out. And if it does, I'll be vigilant. So here's my wrench in my hand. Oh, now, this bike is a rusty chain. which means that the gears are not gonna work right. But I'm just going slowly. And here's the little gully thing that I wanna go through. Uh oh, let's see. Oh, oh. Yay, that was fun. See, the thing is you can't really pedal through it because the pedals would just hit on the curb. Here, look at me. I don't want you to see any. Listen to this thing. It's skipping like crazy because the chain's all rusty. But it's not too bad. Like if I lube the chain with oil or WD-40, it'd be fine. All right, let's go in this gully again. A little faster. Oh. My God, if I lived here, I'd have so much fun with this stupid thing. It's more skipping. See what happens with the skipping is the chain will get like a tight spot in it because it's rusty. And then as that tight spot goes over the jockey wheels, it doesn't conform to the jockey wheels the way it's supposed to. Jockey wheels, so those little we little wheels on the derailleur. So it kind of just skips over the jockey wheels. And what you do is you lube up the chain, you go through it and find a little tight spots, you work those out by hand. But really this thing's kind of neglected, but it's a wicked comfortable bike and it's lightweight, it's a little small for me. It's so easy to ride. I don't know, I mean, Huffy bikes are kind of junk, but somebody can enjoy this. All right, here's the gully again. Oh, oh my God. Why is that there? It's like a, like a drainage ditch, but it's calling my name. Here, I'll do, I'm bouncing up and down now because the seat has suspension in it, which is wild. Now I'll go up this sidewalk. See? Don't want nobody peeking, and now off the curb. Oh, that's the air system fork. Oh no, this is way too fast down this gully. Oh, oh, whoa. I'm riding with one hand, and I've got a wrench in my hand. And the gears are skipping. Actually, they kind of stopped skipping. Guess I worked out the kinks. So, I'm gonna go through the gully once more. Because it's awesome. People are starting to stare at me now, though. I don't want to get killed. Oh! So that's it. Five trips through the gully. I hate to say this. Oh my god, the brakes even work. Look at that. I hadn't used them yet. I hate to say this, but I think that Huffy kind of knocked out of the park with this thing.
So that's my little test ride of the Huffy Prospect sort of street city hybrid beach cruiser suspension goofy rail trail bike. And I would not recommend buying one of these because it's a Huffy, but if you can find one for like 10 bucks on Craigslist, snap it up, have some fun.